Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10, 17, 7, 11. This is a new test preview for Windows 10 version 1809 expected to release later this year. Now let's have a closer look at the most important changes in this release. In this Redstone 5 update on Microsoft Edge, when using the reading view experience, now we get some updates on the learning tools. For example, now you can choose different colors for the uh, page themes. So now we have a bunch of uh, different colors as you can see right here. And for some reason, I guess this screen is not working correctly, but the other one seems to be working just fine. Also, in order to make it easier to identify the parts of the speech, you can now change the color in which, in which nouns, verbs, and adjectives are highlighted. So you can see around here, we can change the color. And you can even turn on an indicator right over it, as you can see right here. Also, if you're reading a PDF document, now instead of having to just to click the document to bring up the, uh, the tools, you can now simply hover the mouse over the top and you should now see the toolbar appear automatically. In build 17.7.11, Microsoft Edge is also introducing a new consent menu box for saving out of field data. You will see this new notification design when the browser needs permission to save password and card details. As part of the Fluent Design System rollout, in this flight, Windows 10 also introduces depth in form of shadow to many of the default modern pop-up type controls. Uh, for example, if we select some text and then we just right click, you will see now a new shadow that goes around it that gives us the perception of depth. Also, we can see this when we do a search and we right click the, uh, the text. But as you can see, there is a bug that is preventing the shadow to align with the actual menu. Starting with Windows 10 and build 17, 7, 11, in the display page, there is a new Windows HD color settings page for displays that can show high dynamic range HDR content, including photos, videos, games, and apps. As you can see, because this display that I'm using doesn't support HDR, all the uh, settings are grayed out. But if you did have a monitor that supports this feature, you will be able to change these settings. Also, as you can see right here, this page also re reports your system HD color capabilities and allows HD color features to be configured on supported systems. And that's all that it's new on the uh, settings app for Windows 10, build 17, 7, 11. Now, if we move to task view, you will now notice that the experience no longer includes the acrylic effect background. Instead, you can now see the desktop background just like you did on the April 2018 update. On File Explorer, there's not a lot going on this time around, but we get uh, redesigned icons for remove access and advanced security. Finally, the registry editor is getting updated as well. And in build 17711, the experience now includes a drop down as you type. So you can see right here, that will help you to complete the next part of the path. In addition, you can now press Control Backspace keyboard shortcut to delete the last word, which makes it backing app work a lot faster. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10 build 17, 7, 11. Starting with this flight, the new Windows 10 update seems more complete and somewhat more stable. And the performance is pretty good, but it's not recommended to install it on your primary machine. Remember to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.